the first test lived up to the anticipation that has been building for the past few months. A massive forward battle, some scintillating back play, tension and drama throughout, and a grandstand finish, all made for a breathtaking spectacle. The Lions really should be ahead after that Stephen Jones penalty miss. Now they're back five metres from their own line. Pina stopped by Jones. Dupria. Juan Smith into Robertson O'Driscoll. Dupria for a third time. John Smith. And the captain scores the first try of the series. The Lions battered into submission. Heads down again. Vickery comes up. Phillips, that's a decoy run. Jones for O'Driscoll. O'Driscoll for Monia. Monia to the line. Great tackle by Peterson. And De Villiers wants a video replay. Brilliant work by De Villiers, scooping it up as Monia went over. Just outside the Lions 22. And Vickery on the near side came up early. Referee Lawrence gives the penalty. But did Vickery stand up or was he lifted? Either way, the beast gets the credit. Pinard doesn't miss those. South Africa lead 10 0. Jones for Wallace into three. South African tacklers. Room on this side now. Phillips, Jones, Roberts, fine break. O'Driscoll, there are two outside him. Croft coming up. Croft for the line. Takes Steyn over with him. It's 13 5. Duplessis, sport for choice in the line out. Matfield takes. Adam Jones on for Vickery. Trying to wrestle it back. Now they start to rumble. The Lions got no answer, the crowd loving it, even a banner's in there. That's an excellent collective effort. South Africa's second try, they're in charge. 13 minutes left. Jones, this is Roberts, inside Mornerstein. Leave it green! Phillips gets there, wants to keep the ball moving. O'Driscoll, Croft, and Croft's in again. Lions looking good going forwards. Jones, O'Driscoll. This is Roberts. Good combination. Carney, Monia with the shuffle. Just dropped it prior to the line. Good tackle by Fury. Fury knocking it out of his grasp. Come back. Still time for the Lions. Phillips. And Mike Phillips goes solo. Rattled by the belated Lions' comeback, but still triumphant, the Springboks took a 1-0 series lead. It uh, worked out to be a tough test match in the end, uh, where uh, both teams came out firing to play, to play to win that first test, and we're thankful that we've managed to survive. Ahead of the second test in Pretoria, the Lions face a massive challenge, but they believe a reinforced pack will give them the platform to level the series. You know, we're playing a good brand of rugby, we played really well, I think... Uh, as I said, the penalties killed us. We caught out the penalties and I think we would have won the game. It's been frustrating for us because you know, they didn't play much rugby. They, you know, they just kicked the ball, but whatever they did was effective and we sort of created a lot. But um, you know, we, we were, we were lack, lacking in discipline in the first half and uh, it sort of cost us. In Tendai Tarawira, South African rugby has a new hero. And the Springboks can be expected to improve substantially at Loftus Vasfeld, where the altitude has so often proved a problem for visiting teams. Hopefully very tough. And uh, you know, we'll have to make sure that we don't rely just on the altitude, but certainly on the fact that we get a little bit more clinical than we were today. Not over yet. There's still two games, and, and the way the Lions played at last 15 minutes will definitely be a, a very tough next two games. The Lions selected to play against the emerging Springboks in Cape Town on Tuesday knew they could force changes in the side for the second test, with the touring pack in particular in need of major structural change. The final midweek game was also a last chance to impress for Shane Williams, yet to score for the tourists. But it was Keith Earls' try which proved the difference in a tightly contested first half. 
The Lions led 13-6 with minutes to go, but in a dramatic finale, replacement wing Danwell Damas went over to bring the emerging Springboks within two points. Willem de Waal then kept his nerve to kick the match-levelling conversion, ending the Lions' 100% record in the non-test matches. Ahead of Saturday, few tourists did enough to force their way into the test squad.